Big bass. That's a big bass. Oh, that is a, yeah, I called it as a bass, and this is this is a big bass. Good morning and welcome back. First session of 2024. Clearly, we're out at sea. Uh, we are a long, long way off today, and we're going to be even further shortly. Winter time down here on the Sussex coast. It's big pollock time. That's the plan. The pollock are moving offshore to breed. It's now this time of year for us here when you're going to get that big fish. So we're going to give it a hero zero day, get offshore, burn burn some fuel and try and find one of these bigger fish. Now we is, I've got Jake with me today, just putting a bit of extra fuel in the boat. We've got out to where we're going, so had a couple of spare cans with us. We're going to whack them in now so they're not sloshing about. And then we're going to try our first wreck. First wreck is one that's a bit closer than I want to get to, but I'm going past it. It's held before. Plan is uh, boom shads, big soft uh, plastics, 200 gram, 180 grams, and later on maybe some slow jigging. Massive tide, 6.8, so we are going to get shifting later. But that's the plan. Let's see if we can find some of these pollock. I'm going down with an 8 inch um, super reel uh, sidewinder. Jake is on a 4 inch. I think that's a scary zero as well. So yeah, I'm on, a, I'm on an 8 inch super real scaries and Jake is on a 4. I'm fishing different sizes and colours just to see if there's a preference. It might not be, they might smash both of them. I'm just going to try now. It's our second go round. The first go we just clipped the front end of the wreck. Didn't really go through the meat of it as it was. Jake did have a tap but we think it might be a pout. Like I said, it's a, it's a boom and a shad set up. So it's down to the bottom. I'm only going to come about 10, 15 turns on this one. That will change on the next this fish. Oh, that's a wreck. No, that's a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll happen. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot gone off the bat. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. First drop down of 2024 was a, a lost set of gear. Welcome to wrecking on the south coast. Going down again now. Same thing, boom shad with a um, it's a pink six inch sidewinder. Okay, so we're on the wrecks just coming in. So this is our fourth go on this one now. One set of gear lost so far, no fish. So we're going to move after this one. It's only a small wreck. Uh, so if it was holding, we'd have seen something by now. Ah, pretty up. This ain't happening, this one. That ain't happening. And I haven't seen any charter boats bombing out yet, so we're still ready to go. We saw the waves and thought, Right, we're at our second wreck now. Um, the first wreck was a small wreck. It was a bit of a, we are try it it's on the way sort of jobby. Gave it four drifts, uh, lost one set of gear, but we didn't have a single sort of decent take really. So come out to our next one. This is a bigger wreck, it's much bigger. And the tide is now ripping here as well. Slightly deeper and the tide is pushing up more. We've gone from a 1.2 three knot drift to a uh, two and a half, 2.6 now. So bigger leads required to get down. Uh, me and Jake have had our conflab. When you're on the boat luring with someone, charter boat or pleasure, you want to be on the same leads. If one of you's on a lighter or a heavier, you'll drop down at different times and speeds and you'll cross over each other. So that's the plan. Rigs haven't changed, sidewinders, the rest of it. Here we go, come on. I don't know where it is either though. <laughs> So, uh, one of John's guys on Manx Bell, he's called First Drop, he's joined us and caught on the first drop. Jammy so and so, fair play. Okay, so we've been joined by uh, Manx Bells, hoping we didn't see anybody today. But John Little on Manx Bell, lovely guy, lovely charter skipper, brilliant charter skipper. <laughs> he's rocked up behind us. Me and Jake have gone through nothing. One of their guys has uh, pulled out a pollock, a nice pollock by the looks of it, first drop. So, on one hand, it's good that they're here, but now we've got another boat competing with the fish that we've got. So we've got to work extra hard now, extra quick. Hopefully try and put a few on. Good bit of wreck, man. 
Fish on, fish on. Fish on? Yeah. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Jake's in. Fish on. Oh, no, it might be the wreck. Jake. Are excited? Damn it. I'm excited then. It nodded, but I think, you know where it gets caught? Yeah. It nods, doesn't it? It goes doop, doop, doop. Okay, so we're, uh, we're working hard here. We've not even had a proper solid take yet. And we're doing nothing wrong. We're just, just the way it's gone. Lost a couple of sets of gear, etc., etc. But moved out deep now to a, a very small wreck. The one we was on was massive, but just nothing. Oh, there's a take trail. So on the bottom there, might be a bit pouty. Yeah, so we're just out here now, trying to work hard, trying to have a go. Here comes the wreck. It's a small wreck in length and height, etc., but it, it's proud. Tiny, tiny wreck. Just going past it now, didn't, didn't stand up much. Yeah, we were, the wreck we was on, we were joined by a charter boat, Max Bell, and uh, we saw them pull out a couple of fish. Yeah, three blokes on board, but yeah, it's been tough for us so far. But just, that's just wrecking, so you can drop on one and suddenly it's game on. But so far, it's a lot of miles from nothing. Oh, uh, tap. You a tap? Yeah. We're off the wreck now. Doesn't mean it's not official, so we'll say it's off the wreck. No, it might be big old, big old tap. Since some sign of life. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. it wasn't. No, I'd rather it have blood and clean it in the harbour. Just takes one fish. Yep. That's all we need. Yeah, it's not tearing this, is it? No, no. Not day, mate. I'm not going to lie. If you drop on a wreck and it's loaded, there's fish. Here you go. There's fish. Fish on. Fish on. Me. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> Fish on guys, it ain't big, but we got one. Just saying there that I was, I was gonna move. It's only the second drift, but I was just saying if a wreck's loaded, normally you drop down, suddenly you bang, you're in it. But it hasn't been the case with this one, and this, I don't know what this is, it's a couple of little nods and then it's gone really floppy. Just steady winding, I'm not lifting the rod up, not jerking it. I've done a video before on it, but if you start yanking the hook and you give it the, give the rod tip slack, the lure will just fall out. Here we go, what have we got? <laughs> it's a foul hook, pal. <laughs> there we go. And I think that might be us moving. <laughs> foul hook, pal, there we go. It's come up a little bit sideways. There we go. Not about that one. Okay, another wreck guys, long way out now, we're starting to get to the edge of what we need to be doing here, we'll reach bingo for the fuel, but there's a wreck, there's a boat in front of us and they're all worked up by the looks of it, so we shall see. Yep, fish on, fish on, fish on. That's a pollock. Fish on, fish on. Finally, guys, at the work of this one. It's not in yet. It's not in yet. We're in guys, we've got a fish. Only taken seven hours. <laughs> trying to play it slowly. There's my leader. Might be on you. Oh, there you are, yeah. Let go of my line. Put it down, my guy. Oh, that's a good ball that way in. Yeah, well, I bet. Oh, thank God. Well that has taken a long time. It has been the best part of um, best part of seven hours. But uh, yeah, it's one small pollock. He's only about you know, 
three and a half, four pound maybe, but it's a fish. As you can see, he's blown, so he won't go back. Um, swim bladder's come out there, barometric trauma, um, but is what it is, he's coming home for dinner anyway, so haven't blanked, get in. Notice that a small pollock, they come to a six inch sidebinder rhubarb and custard. Go again. Oh, we popped off. So that was a, a long time coming, that one, guys. About to work really, it ain't through lack of effort, it's not for anything we're doing. We've watched a couple of our boats pull the odd fish up and we were getting a bit demoralised. And uh, yeah, finally got one. So hopefully now we can pull a few more out. The trouble we've got now is we're now losing the tide. <laughs> so we'll have a period where the tide's not running much. We'll have to go to slow jigs or we'll uh, use that time to move on to another wreck. We are going to hit it, we're just going a bit slower down now. Every every knot of that tide turn change, it's, um, it's a different drift on. Be interested to see other people's reports though, because it'll be indicative if everyone's only had small fish yeah, you know, or not many of them. Like, the what's the, like what, 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 what are we doing all the way out here when well, we could just yeah. go and sit the anchor in somewhere for growing up? Not today, not today, it's like there. Rex there. That's Rex coming in. It sort of, you see it start coming and then it really picks up. Fish on, 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 yep. fish on, yep. Jake's in guys. Yep. Yep. Good fish? Yep. Yep. Good, good, Camera on. Yep. A small GoPro's on. Jake's on. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Right. I'm, I'm, still, um, I'm still having a wreck, so I'm going to keep fishing for a second. Yeah, keep so Jake's now in behind me, which is good. I've got a couple of dives. That's not massive, but the fish are all the same. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah. Come on, take it. Yes, on, mate. There we go. Fish for Jake. There we go. Just a small pollock, guys. About three and a half, four pounds. Same sort of size as Ben, just now, actually. Not bad at all. Yep. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. That's a better one. That's a better one, guys. Fish on. Just keeping that tension. This is really, really crashy, this one. <laughs> yes, I will, mate. Get that fish there, Jack. Get a nice double, double fire in a minute, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Be nice. Get the net on this one. If you were there. All right, fish on, guys. There we go. Now we've found some. It's taken a little while. Must be the tide sucking off, mate. That's Maybe, what yeah. Uh... Cool, that was another one. Just a minute ago, we haven't had any double look-ups, and here we are, look, Jake's got one in. This has fought me all the way up, which makes me think bass. <laughs> no, it does, it, the bass will fight, it probably won't be, it'll be a pollock, but it feels, it feels bass. It's called it now. It's out there as well, look. Yeah, it might be bass, they normally don't go like that, do they? Don't this go away from the boat. All, this is all the way up, this. Normally, five pound John Dory. <laughs> <laughs> go out to call it, I would say it, bass. It's a bass, it's a big bass. Big bass. That's a big bass. Oh, a, yeah, I called it as a bass and this is this is a big bass. Wow. Yeah, that's a decent size one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it took a while mate, but get, get it in manage, get a yeah, that's, 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 that. that's a 10 pound, isn't it? No, oh, I don't know. Mate, that's a big old chunk of fish. Um guys. Big bass. I don't, I don't know what that goes. I mean, that's a good, that's quite chunky that. I will get scales on that, but that is a lovely fish. Rhubarb and custard, six inch. Boom. Happy days. God, mate, that's got some weight on that. Right, let's go around again. Oh, <laughs> We're losing a bit of tide, but I think that's what's kicked the fish in. Um, the boat that's on it with us has also just had a double or a triple hookup with some nice looking fish. So, a bit less talking, a bit more winding for a second. But the Rex was coming in. But I knew that was a bass because it was a pollock will crash dive and then it will go a bit floppy and you'll get a little bit again when it comes to the top. A bass will fight you from start to finish and it generally comes out away from the boat, which is what that one did. Hopefully the cameras have shown that. Chunky old belly on it, isn't it? Mm. 
Yeah, it's morning. Oh, we're still here. We're still carrying around. Another set of gear gone. <laughs> um, but we, we found a few fish now, so luckily, we're just going to keep working this wreck now, and then we'll have to think about the fuel situation. The other boat is uh, yeah, a few fish on the last drift as well, so still pulling up fish. We're only going to knock now. The tide is really dropping. In fact, point eight. So we are losing the tide. When it gets the slack water, I envisage that it's probably going to get a bit tough. And at that point, we might take the advantage of the slack water to bomb home a little bit and work a few more wrecks on the way out. We're still a long way out of here, so any wreck we hit on the way home is going to be the sort of wreck we're going to want in a deep water. But it's uh, yeah, high time we started thinking about making our way a bit closer to land because we currently can't see it. <laughs> Okay, so I've lost my hat. <laughs> it's in the wheelhouse. Um, wind's picked up a bit now. You won't see it or feel it from the angle I've shown you, but it's we've got a strong northerly now, and we've got to punch into that on the way home. So it's been a very slow day, very, very slow. We've tried hard. The eight and a half pound bass has sort of saved it, um, but it, it's been a lot of miles for not a lot of fish. So be interested to see what everyone else has caught inshore and those that are offshore with us. But yeah, but we, we fished hard, that's not in question. It's just been tough. So, anyway, last wreck, so let's see what we can pick up. Well, unfortunately, we didn't have anything on that last wreck, and the wind picked up to a strong force five, so we bombed our way back home. Across the shipping lanes, uh, pretty punchy here, as you can see, pretty sporty, and we had to wait for a few boats to come past as well. But first video of 2024, a bit rusty on the camera, but thanks for watching and tuning in. There'll be another video at the end of this one, some really good underwater sidewinder footage. Click on that and give us a like and a share if you fancy it, and I'll see you all again soon.